I grew up in Jamaica and lived there all my life before moving to New York. My mom graduated from high school and that was it, but my dad didn't. Fortunately, I had grandparents who were very strict about making it through school, get into college, making something for yourself. So I wanted to really push myself to be better. I'm from a very small country in South America. It's called Guyana, and it's a very underdeveloped country economically. I moved here when I was in eighth grade with my dad, who was a single parent and my only brother. My mom and my dad has only made it halfway through high school, and my brother never finished high school either. So growing up as a little girl, my dad has always instilled that in me, like my education is something that no one can ever steal from me. Had I not gotten sick, I don't think I would be here where I am today. It wasn't until I missed my first class that I said, okay, this is bad. After many trips to the doctor, I found out that I had a tumor that was pressing on my spine and I had to have it surgically removed. I failed exams after exams until I was academically dismissed. Many times I cried. No one ever sat me down and said, hey, this is what I think you should do. I didn't have that. I tried to create that way for myself. And so I was excited when I got into Lehman. And that's how I found Braven. I came into Lehman College as a newly transferred freshman. Being a first-gen student is always a hard thing, especially when you don't have family members who go to college. I definitely considered myself an introvert. I didn't like to talk much, or I wouldn't even talk to new people. After the pandemic hit, I definitely felt isolated from campus and from my friends and just from that college feeling in general. Had it not been for Braven, my social life would not be there at all. Who said that? With Braven, I at first thought it was a club, and it turned out to be way more than that. Braven is definitely not a typical class. It's dedicated to helping students get a strong job after college. With Braven's help, I'm able to utilize my now formed public speaking skills and communicate my thoughts and my background effectively. Braven really helped me to step out of my shell and I'm just so blessed to be a part of that. The way that Braven works is you attend weekly meetings, which are referred to as learning labs, and you have a leadership coach to guide you and help mentor you. You walk into a cohort where you see students that look exactly like you and are having the same obstacles as you, and they will literally become your best friends in college. This is a place where students like Rashan and Alicia can come to jumpstart their careers and achieve the American dream. Our partnership with Braven is really critical for us because we have 7,000 plus Pell students. Those students benefit from what Braven brings. The end result of that is that we're a social mobility engine. As immigrants, we can definitely make a change. It's all about making sure that we get to a higher place than our ancestors. With Braven's help, I got this job with Aetna so I'd want to say I came out on top from Braven. <laughs> I think my motivation has a lot to, with my dad. He's just supportive in every way that he can be, not just economically, but also emotionally and mentally. I will do anything that I can do in my life to make her the person that she wants to be. And I also told her, I said, when you finish schooling, that day I'm gonna take a vacation the longest. <laughs> In my future, I will be completed with my education and I think I will definitely have a great job, but I think I'm one of those people that will just never stop looking for every opportunity just as I am right now to just know new things and meet new people and hopefully Raven will still be with me.